Starting off this vlog with a massive Trader Joe's haul. I decided to go on a Friday night because a couple months ago I went on a Friday and it's just the best time to go in my opinion, but they restock Trader Joe's every day around seven o'clock. So it's the prime time to go to make sure you get things that are usually out of stock midday. So a little hack, a uh, Trader Joe's employee told me that and I saw them restocking everything. So basically everything was in stock. So I'm very excited. We have a huge haul. I wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog with the haul. First is the sesame honey almonds. Christian loves these. I got some lemons, cucumber. I've been loving cucumber, cottage cheese, and everything but the bagel seasoning as a snack. It's so yummy. Got some of these protein bars. I did get a pumpkin spice one. I only got one because I didn't know if I would like it, but I really love the salty peanut flavor and also the caramel cashew is very good. I got some fresh fruit this time, which I never do, but I've been eating this yogurt bowl for breakfast and I'm very much obsessed with it. I started eating it this past week and I'll share it in this vlog because it's very yummy, super satisfying, filling, and it just checks all the boxes in my opinion. It's a very, very good breakfast, especially if you're on the go or you bring your food to work like I do. I eat my breakfast, my lunch, my snacks at work. I need something that I'm not cooking, but it's easy to like throw in a container and bring with me. I also got some pomegranate seeds because they're in season and I thought these would be really yummy on yogurt bowls. Some ginger and turmeric shots. And now we get into a lot of the frozen foods, which is just really easy. So I got some vegetable fried rice. We love this. Sweet potato fries. My favorite is the cauliflower stir fry. I did want to preface, I usually go to Trader Joe's like every couple of months, so this is a larger haul. I get a lot of frozen stuff to have to swap out during the week to kind of switch up dinners and also if you want like an easy dinner where you don't have to really think about it or there's not a lot of prep, that's where I very much lean on the Trader Joe's frozen foods. They're not healthy, but sometimes it's it doesn't even matter. Orange chicken. Sweet potato gnocchi, love this stuff. I can't remember if I shared this. Brown rice, this fried rice with kimchi. I got this, now that it's football season, I feel like it's nice to have little snacks in the fridge. So, or freezer, I guess you could say. I got these buffalo style chicken poppers and I thought we've never tried them, but Christian thinks that we did. And I don't think that we were a fan, so we'll see about those. Like I said, football's on, so I feel like having stuff like this right now is good. So Christian can snack on this throughout all the games because he has the seven hours of commercial free football on. Guacamole, love this one. This is so good. It's an easy-er dinner, I guess you could say. Beef and broccoli is really good. Pot stickers with the gyoza dipping sauce is so yummy sourdough bread, gorgonzola gnocchi, and then more fried rice and this kung pao chicken, which is good. These are just some easy dinner sides with chicken to kind of switch it up that are pre-made. This is very good. We tried this last time. So yummy. I feel like I have the same things scattered, but another sweet potato fry, spaghetti carbonara. We get our fillets from there. So we got some of those. These, if you know, you know. And then the fall stuff that I got, I didn't go crazy. Christian doesn't love pumpkin flavored items. So I didn't go crazy and I feel like I never really do, but I did get some fun stuff that I have not tried before. So got this fall pasta. Instead of getting like a pumpkin or a harvest vegetable flavored sauce, I went with, it is butternut squash pasta. So I don't know how good this is gonna be, but the other night I made ravioli and I mixed cottage cheese in the blender with vodka sauce and some seasoning and it was really good and it added a good amount of protein to the pasta dish, so that's a great hack because if you blend up the cottage cheese in the blender, you can't even, if you're not like a huge texture person, which I understand, but I grew up eating cottage cheese, so it doesn't bother me. But if you're wanting to add a protein to a pasta without cooking chicken or anything, add cottage cheese to your pasta sauce in a blender. Very, very good and a good way to get protein in. Got the fall leaf tortilla chips and then I stocked up on candles because these are my favorite candles to just have in the bathroom. I have a candle in our guest bathroom, I guess you could call it, where I don't like to burn it because it's like a nicer candle. So I love throwing these in there. Scents that I got are the Honeycrisp Apple and then the Vanilla Pumpkin. The Vanilla Pumpkin is my favorite. 
So I got more of those than the Honeycrisp Apple, but this is a good change up. They burn so quickly and I was talking with the Trader Joe's employee and we were both saying that we wish they were bigger, but they're so cheap. They're like $3 and they smell up the whole entire room. So very good. I got this vanilla pumpkin hand soap. This smells incredible. It's new this season. She was telling me, so I'm excited. I got it for the guest bathroom. I just got one because we usually use antibacterial soap. So I just got one just to have in the guest bath. And I went with orange pumpkins this year. I feel like I kind of change it up, but I always do pumpkins on the center island tray. So I got three orange big ones. I was standing there for so long going through the piles. Two Trader Joe's employees were like, you look like you're having so much fun there. You're just like, you've been standing there for 10 minutes, just kind of going through all of them. But yeah, I tried to pick some of them that looked nice. The white ones that I've gotten in the past were just so beat up and discolored that they just didn't look nice. So I thought maybe the orange this year would be fun. So they're on the larger side than what I've usually got for this center island piece but i think it'd be fun to have these out so i'm excited and lastly i got this in the checkout pumpkin spiced pretzels they have yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds these looked really really good so i got those and that is the massive haul <laughs> so much stuff okay i'm gonna put this all away because I don't want the frozen foods to go bad. And it's been a little bit and I picked up Shake Shack for dinner. So I'm gonna put this all away. Just wanna start with the vlog. Welcome back. I just got home from running some errands. I took some close to Play-Dohs. They actually took everything, which has never happened before. I went and did a return, and then I went to Target to look at their candles and their fall stuff. I didn't really buy any fall stuff. I don't usually. They have really great candles out and some great scents. So I got this one, this three wick, which is the sea salt and spice. I think I'm gonna put that in the center. I have this candle that I got from Anthropology out right now, but I think I'm gonna put this one there and then I think I'll do this one next to the stove. And then I got this pumpkin for the coffee table just to have like a little pumpkin, but also a candle. This is the vanilla pumpkin scent and this is the pumpkin spice cupcake scent. So these are the candles that I got. I can link them down below if you're interested. So I think I'm gonna put this candle here you can always light it, but it's also just a nice decor piece as well. I don't really decorate for fall, usually just decorate for Christmas, and then I'll just get fall scented candles or the pumpkins that I get from Trader Joe's. I have this pumpkin candle from last year. That's not quite done yet. This I'm trying to get through, and then you can honestly clean this out after it's all done and use this as a decor piece, which is also nice. Once all those candles that are shaped like pumpkins are kind of done, I can use them as decor, which is great. I don't have to buy anything new.
Okay, I'm just doing laundry and this thing is amazing. I have a bunch of sweaters that I wear basically on a weekly basis to work and they're on the cheaper side so they tend to get kind of pilly very easily and I just use this on this sweater. Look how much extra fabric came off. I'm about to do it on my other one. This thing is just amazing. It takes all the extra fabric off when it gets like this. I haven't done this yet and I've had these for probably like three or four months and I wear them like every week so it's just bound to happen and I'll link this down below it's so key for sweaters especially when you don't want to spend a lot of money on sweaters so they tend to do this and it keeps them looking pretty new I just finished doing my skincare and I put these in the fridge to kind of help de-puff. I don't know what it is. I also put on my robe because I'm just gonna sit for a little bit before I change. I don't know what I wanna wear today. So I just threw that on so I could wash my pajamas in my last load of laundry. So I'm wearing this robe from Barefoot Dreams. It's my favorite, super warm and cozy, perfect for winter time, fall and winter, especially if you live somewhere cold. But I don't know what it is. Whenever I go to bed late, I still wake up early and we had friends over last night and we were watching like football and then some of the fights that were shown on TV and I feel like it completely knocks you off when you don't go to bed at a decent time. I just feel like it completely knocked me off and I feel so sluggish today and I look really tired. I feel like I always look really tired to be honest, but today I feel really tired and I look tired so hoping that these that I left in the fridge kind of help. I also went through a full one of these yesterday. It was basically full. I only burned it one time before. So I already need to change that out. I'm really glad I bought a bunch of those at Trader Joe's <laughs> the other day. I also need to get my hair cut. It's so long. I think I go in like two weeks to get my hair done, which will be nice. I didn't get it cut last time because I saw someone new. So, and I never really skip cuts. So I always get like one to two inches cut off. And I feel like the ends of my hair are super dry. I just finished meal prepping. It's around five o'clock. I'm gonna have a quick snack before I go down to the gym. I'm gonna take a day off this week because I have a work event on Wednesday. And I like to work out five days a week at least four to five. So I'm gonna work out today. This is what I've been having for breakfast every day last week and I'm obsessed with it. Basically what it is is this yogurt. I usually use the purple one but I have this one and then I just washed some blueberries and raspberries and then I have sunflower seeds, walnuts, and this Catalina Crunch. The chocolate peanut butter one I just tried for the first time last week and it's so, so good. This combination is really good. to today as far as I can go. I don't really vlog during my work week because truly I just sit at a computer all day and I don't really do much. Um, it's really just, and it's also really hard to show, but I thought I would carry the vlog in today because I was sitting there last night and I realized this vlog was very just weird. I don't feel like I showed my face and talked to the camera once this whole weekend or this whole vlog. I'm dealing with some personal family things and I have been for like a couple of months and something happened last week and I'm still kind of trying to figure out how much I want to share on the internet but I just feel like I've been kind of 
distracted and it's hard to carry on with like my work life and extra things when things are going on um it just is really hard and i don't want to get emotional i'm trying not to it's really hard to watch your parents get older and only having one now is just like really hard and a lot of things are happening because of age and it's been like really really hard okay i'm trying not to cry because i have to go into work um that's just what's going on um i feel like very distracted with everything um with work and just it's just like hard to know like what's appropriate to share and like where the line needs to be drawn but um yeah i've just been going through some personal family things and um it has been very very challenging i think i pulled myself together a little bit but i just wanted to say that i've been distracted and um things have just been going on with my dad and it's very hard to watch him get older while i also still feel like i'm so young he had me when he was in his 50s and it's just hard at this point in my life um it would be hard at any time but it's hard now because i still feel like i am so young and it's just hard um also i think because i know the pain of losing a parent and i'm just like not ready to like feel that way again or go through that again so i'm just hoping that everything's okay but i need to get ready because i have to go into the office um and yeah i just wanted to mention that i've just been distracted and just not doing well um emotionally i'm trying to remain as positive as i can throughout this process and it's hard because something that my dad is currently dealing with what happened this past week is something completely different than everything so it's like one more thing and if you remember last october i shared kind of in december i think that my dad had a minor stroke and I just feel like this whole past year has been like just a lot of health things have come up and it's just very scary um but he's fine right now and hopefully we can get some answers and maybe some solutions so 